President Trump being criticized for failing to explicitly condemn white supremacist hate groups in his response to the deadly protests over the weekend. And CBS 4's Weijia Zhang continues her team coverage now with more on the White House response. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. President Trump is facing backlash after failing to condemn white supremacist groups behind the deadly clashes that took place in Charlottesville, Virginia over the weekend. 36 hours later, the White House issued this statement, saying, of course that includes white supremacists, KKK, neo-Nazi, and all extremist groups. Attorney General Jeff Sessions defended the president on CBS this morning. His own spokesman explicitly condemned by name uh, the Nazis and the Ku Klux Klan. That's the spokesman, well, that's, not the president. Uh, and the but it's president the president's would, spokesman, uh, and uh, I'm sure he'll speak about it again, but his own spokesman said that. I I just think we're making them uh, too much out of this. Others in the Trump administration also believe reactions to what the president did or did not say are too harsh. I take issue with the fact that many in the national media spend more time criticizing the president's words than they did criticizing those who perpetrated the violence to begin with. But some of the loudest critics come from the president's own party. We call this white supremacism, this white nationalism evil. And let the country hear it, let the world hear it. It's something that needs to come from the Oval Office. Colorado Senator Cory Gardner is among several GOP congressmen calling for the president to make a stronger statement. Weijia Jang, CBS 4 News. And another development related to this, Merck Pharmaceutical CEO Kenneth Frazier is resigning from the president's manufacturing council. He cited a, quote, responsibility to take a stand against intolerance and extremism. Frazier said the country's leader must honor our fundamental values by clearly rejecting expressions of hatred, bigotry, and group supremacy. President Trump quickly tweeted his response, saying Frazier, quote, will have more time to lower rip-off drug prices.